So this is part of an ongoing playlist uh, describing how to, how to manage this flow. Once we've created a, a lesson, now we want to create the junction objects for the instructor, the volunteer, and also the participant. Now, to do that, uh, what we needed to have done first, so it's it's important to just see how this is done, is is I've got a, a constant that I built uh, that's specifically for instructor. So if we see it, it's just a value of instructor with an API of, of that uh, and a description that's used in searches there. Um, so the way that we do that, just so you see it, was the same we, we saw this earlier when we were doing the lookup on the um, on the pick lists. You can create a constant or a variable or or a formula or anything else you need to uh, from kind of from this process. So we can create a constant and be able to name it. Uh, so what we're going to do is to take a quick look at what this screen says, and it says it's a record choice using name, and then uh, when we kind of select in on that. It tells us that it's a choice with uh, using um, the select instructor um, dynamic record, but this is, uh, you're going to see this right here. So let me go back into here, and if we look at the record uh, choices, we do have a uh, select instructor DRC already that we've set up. So again, that was just a new resource that we built. So let's take a look at what that is. And what you're seeing is uh, an API name. It's for the contact. Um, it's uh, looking for all conditions met as opposed to all records, no conditions. So the condition we're looking for is, is uh, does the relationship to HS, uh, and this is on the contact record, does that equal to the constant, which is instructor? Uh, and if it does, then what we want to do is to have it return. Uh, sort order is not relevant. We could limit the number of choices, but we don't need to in this case, although it uh, doesn't really matter. I mean, you could put 10 in there, but uh, we don't have that many instructors. Um, and then what we're going to do is, is the choice label that comes out is going to be name, so the instructor's name, and we're going to have then uh, the return value, what I've got is returning is to a variable, the ID uh, for the record that gets identified uh, will be put into a variable, which again, we would have created a variable earlier on as well, uh, that's called instructor ID. All right. Volunteers is going to be the same thing. Participants slightly different. What we did with this was to build a uh, an additional screen, which was just uh, enter a last name in any number of characters to be able to do a search to match there. And what you're seeing is, is that we click here, it tells us the API is participant last name. And so we can click cancel here, and we can go in on this one. And this is actually the record choice set for participant. And if we click here, it's saying go out to the participant radio buttons. And looking at the participant radio buttons, well, what you're seeing here is, is that we're actually looking at for participant last name. So when last name contains participant last name, uh, then we are bringing it back. And this time we are limiting it to 20, and we're able to show uh, again, record ID, and we additionally added um, uh, the name to be able to put that into a variable just so we could do some tracking as well. So when we move to then create records, these are all the same because what you'll see is, is if what we do is to open one of these records, uh, yeah, uh, what we're doing is we're creating one record using variables. And what this one is, is a lesson participant, which is the junction object, with a variable equal to participant ID, session ID, and then the role is the constant uh, participant, because we know this is the participant that we're actually building. So saving and running it, we're able to, to enter, uh, uh, this is a lesson object, so we're going to enter the lesson. It's then going to say, who do you want to actually be the instructor? And we're going to say, let's let Dana be the instructor. 
uh, and we're going to look for a volunteer. We're going to let Valor be a volunteer, and then it's going to come up with who do you want as a, a participant, and we're just going to enter R and see what it comes back with. And we end up getting a lot more here, and so let's say we're going to let Billy Ryder be the participant, and we can say next, uh, and everything was created. We can say finish, and we're back to this. If we go to our system again and we actually look out at records and we say, let's look at our recent, which is Maple Thursday, what we're going to see is, is that we have participants all built out just as we had projected. So uh, the system works just fine to be able to create junction records. Now what if we want to build additional lessons uh, and we actually want to create then multiple lesson participants for those and create that. Uh, so that'll be the next video.